Hey everyone, this is Dr. Ruscio, and I'm excited to introduce you to Amy Gallo, who is our new health coach. And why I'm so excited about this is you've likely heard my spiel about knowing what to do, knowing how to use the tools is more important than having access to the tools. Example, probiotics, so commonly incorrectly used. And it's really unfortunate that patients wait you know, a fair amount of time to be seen at the clinic, and then we finally just help them use that one tool the right way, and they finally see the results they're looking for. This is why I'm so happy to have Amy here with us, because if you turned me into a health coach, I think you would have Amy. And I, and I don't say that lightly. We, we really went through a, a really um, diligent process of screening, and uh, just the skills that Amy has, and Amy, let me, let me start off with a compliment here. Uh, she is forward-thinking, really knows her stuff, but also at the same time, she's circumspect and cautious and just doesn't vacuously follow trends. That's the, that's the exact balance that we want. Someone who's open-minded and willing to look at new information, but not just going to follow the trends and be unable to identify that this doesn't work, that doesn't work, and can really help an individual hone in on what they need to do to get to the bottom line, root cause, and feel better. So, Amy, I'm really happy to have you on our team. Thank you so much. I'm really excited to be a part of the team as well. And again, you know, there, there's many areas that we line up on. I should start by maybe asking you before we get into some of the you know, nerdy clinical stuff, um, tell people a little bit about your background because you have great training, you know, a master's in nutrition and functional medicine, but tell us a little bit about your backstory. Oh, gosh. Um, so I actually became interested in nutrition when I was about 13 years old. And I was one of those radical militant um, vegans in the 90s who was protesting in front of McDonald's and, as a child. And I had family members that were legitimately concerned about my health. And innately, I knew that um, avoiding meat wasn't inherently a problem, and, but I wanted to have research to back it up. So I went to the library and started studying, and that opened up my world to how much every bite we take either empowers our health or causes health decline. And I was really lucky that that just opened up the rabbit hole for me and nutrition has been my passion since. I received my uh, bachelor's degree in nutrition from Bastyr University with a minor in exercise science and then uh, went on to get my master's in nutrition and functional medicine, which I completed in uh, 2018. Because after being a health coach for about 12 years um, in private practice, I was noticing that people were getting sicker and having more complex health issues. And my bachelor's degree hadn't actually prepared me for that level of uh, support. So that's why I went back to get my master's. So fantastic background. I mean, you've, you've been in the game from a litany of dietary perspectives, you know, as a personal participant, but you've also participated in nutrition training, functional medicine training, and also even exercise and, and personal fitness. So you know, this gives you that really nice breath to be able to meet people. And again, this is where, where I feel a kinship because my undergraduate was in exercise science. And in, in college, I was quite involved in personal training. And so I have that gear I can kind of flip into when people are asking about things like body composition, training, and such, and, and kind of gives a, a broad breadth of experience to pull from. Exactly. Yeah. Let's touch on the, uh, the the aspect here that I think is most important is there's the spectrum where on the one hand, you can be seen through the clinic via the doctor, patient or consultant patient relationship. And that's great, but not everyone needs that. And up until now, there's kind of been this chasm where the other end is the book, Healthy Go Healthy, which I think is definitely helpful or the website or podcasts. And this gets people, I think, really on a good track. However, not everyone is able to fully execute on their own and they need a little bit of help. And, and so this is where you're, you're occupying this great intermediary space that I think we've needed to fill. And why I'm so excited about that is because this can save people time, money, and heartache. And the conversations that we've had, it's great when we have a chance to, to kind of um, 
ruminate over various case studies because we see the same kind of stuff. People focusing meticulously on diet when they're missing another aspect, or they've read the blog about the miracle supplement and they're, they're so kind of tunnel visioned on the one thing, they're totally missing this glaringly obvious low hanging fruit that can really help them. So can you speak to, to that a little bit? Because I really think that's an area where someone may be saying, well, you know, it's free to go through this podcast and it costs money to see a health coach, but that will likely, even though it, it looks like one is free and one has a cost, the, the lost time and money by not executing appropriately actually makes working with a health coach a much better value from a time and money perspective. So, you know, whatever thoughts you want to share here, I'm curious to hear. It really is such a more efficient way to go about the healing process. Because when you're working with a health coach, you're essentially working with a health detective. And having been in the field for over 25 years at this point, I've seen so much, I've done so much. I've been the person hyper-focused on diet. I've been the person who got super excited about the one supplement and found out it didn't do anything. You know, a one research study doesn't translate into what I need for my body. So I really understand um, that desire to find the thing that is going to make you feel so better and also being so overwhelmed by all of the options, all of the possibilities out there. And even with a book that is as um, attentive to the individual needs as Healthy Gut and Healthy You is, it's impossible to find all of the different obstacles and things that get in people's way. I mean, even if you have the perfect protocol, if you have family that's resistant to supporting your change, if you have a work schedule that is insane or you're traveling a lot, implementing the perfect protocol can be extremely challenging. And in working with a health coach, you've got someone who's there who has a bunch of tools and resources to help you navigate that protocol and help you be successful. Because change is hard. Um, even small changes can be really challenging. And having someone to support you through that can make all of the difference. Yeah, yeah obviously, I, I fully agree. And one of the other scenarios I think will be somewhat common is someone who's either read the book, listened to a podcast, read a blog, or maybe just stumbled across our immunoglobulin formula and they're excited about using it. And so they're, they're kind of here. And where I'm really excited to have you on board is to help kind of redirect them into a more kind of here's our master plan and here's how we kind of, you know, funnel that excitement about the immunoglobulins and the potential about those into how to orchestrate that in, in concert with all these other healing therapies. And, and I'm just really excited to be able to offer that to people because, I, again, as I talk about Healthy Good, Healthy You, and I know this is something that we both agree on, the right tools to use in the wrong way will not lead to healing. And you know, so I'm really excited to be able to offer people that. So is there anything else that you want to touch on? Maybe a, a couple of things that you've found are common stumbling blocks for people or, or anything else? I think um, probably one of the common stumbling blocks is just the um, paralysis by analysis um, and, and having so many choices and so many voices in the space now too um, with competing ideas and different different insights, um, many of which are valid, but again, how do we discern what is appropriate for us? And having someone available to help you navigate that, just it takes, it takes the burden off of you and relieving that stress alone, having someone to talk to about it, having someone in your camp brainstorming with you takes so much of the stress off and stress in and of itself can be a barrier to healing. So, um, and you know, even as a health coach and a nutritionist, I've had health coaches myself off and on over the years as I've needed an outside eye to come in and take a look at things. And you know, our, our physicians and our functional medicine practitioners don't always have the time to be able to do that deep dive and that dialoguing and that troubleshooting with us. So um, utilizing health coaching is, is it's quite a bit cheaper, <laughs> to be frank. And um, it gives you that time and that attention and that support that often, you know, we, we don't necessarily have unless we reach out and grab it. Yeah, I mean, I think that's all really well said. And, you know, there, there's that level of support that uh, I'd love to be able to spend more time with patients. You know, not to say that we don't spend ample time, but I'm, I'm thinking more clinically, not so much so how does this fit into their lifestyle? How do they implement 
uh, how do we answer some of the nuanced questions like people have? Uh, and again, it, it's, that's a really nice kind of union between uh, the doctor, patient, and the health coach because it just it just gives you this continuation of levels of support. Yeah, uh, often our 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 professional providers, like our functional medicine providers, they lay out the blueprint, right? And the health coach is the contractor on site helping you build that house. Well said. Uh, so Amy, I'm, I'm so, so happy to have you on board. And for people who have maybe, again, read the book or gone through a podcast or a blog or have came across one of our products and you're looking for how to better utilize this, I think it's well, well worth investing in someone who can help guide you along the way. Because again, these, these tools only work if they're applied in the right way. And I have the utmost confidence in you, Amy. Um, you know, again, in all the conversations we've had, the thing that I, I think I prize the most about you is the fact that you're really smart and progressive and you know all the stuff, but you're not expecting everything to work and you have a critical eye looking for, well, what moves a needle and what doesn't move the needle. And this is such a gift to be able to offer up to patients because now you've sifted through all these potential options and can really present them with the things that are going to move the needle the most. So just super appreciative to have you on our team. And for those who are floundering, please reach out, make an appointment with Amy. And I think you'll be really happy with how she can accelerate your healing process. Awesome. 